Hey guys, I'm your reluctant housewife, Jackie. Is that how I do it? I'm so tired right now. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Jackie, your reluctant housewife, empowering you to find your inner domestic goddess. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to paint a wall with Pantone's color of the year, Nightwatch. Okay, so this is truly a tutorial for people who have like never painted a wall and they're like, I don't know, what do I do? What do I get? I have no idea. So let me run through that real quick. First of all, move the cat. The kittens are here to help me. It's very exciting. So I got this really great little kit that came with rollers and a brush and like little rollers and all kinds of things. So if you don't want to do a kit, it was pretty cheap. It was like 13 bucks. I was like, yes, I'll take that, please. Um, the handle, which is just this thing, and all the handles will have a place that you can screw them onto an adapter. I don't even know if that's what you call it, but it's like a really long rod so that if you want to do ceilings and you're vertically challenged, like I am, you can do them without asking your really tall friends to help you. So much better. The ruler you're going to want to use for painting interior. So we're doing a flat interior color. You're going to want to use... La 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 la. Hmm. Uh, maybe I'm reading the wrong side. Oh, there it is in English. Great. Okay, it's going to be for a smooth to a semi-smooth surface, which is what I'm going to use. Okay, plaster balls. Honestly, just ask the hardware guys. Like, they're super helpful. They will tell you exactly what you need. You're also going to need a brush. You've got a brush right here. This came in the kit, which was awesome. It's nice and nice bristles. It feels like it's going to really get into those corners and whatnot. This is a paint tray. Very simple. You're going to want to buy the actual tray on its own. Then you're gonna to wanna to get a plastic liner. Put that in there too. So with each paint color that you use, you can again just throw it away. It's so much easier. Just do that. <laughs> Recycle though. So I actually really like frog tape. I've been using this for years. It's really great when you want to take it off. So you're going to take your tape and go around the trim of places you don't wanna paint. And then when you peel it off, sometimes with bad tape, it'll take some of your paint with it or it'll let some of the paint bleed through and it won't be a perfect line. But I actually really like this. Lastly, you're gonna want a drop cloth. Now, you can use an old sheet, so easy, um, but I actually like these plastic drop cloths because you don't have to deal with an actual cloth, which some people like the cloth, it's no you know, problem. But this way, once you're done with it, you just throw it away. So first what I'm gonna do is I moved my furniture, of course, so it's kind of a big mess right here. Got my office area which we're painting and we're going to roll out our drop cloth and it's pretty big but you're going to want to put that on the floor to cover as much area as you're going to be painting it. So this is our drop cloth. Obviously the kittens were like, what is this? Is this our new toy? Cool. So I just put that down against my wall just like so. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Make sure to take off any light switch covers so that you don't have to worry about taping around that. And then what we're going to do is take this fun green tape and we're just going to start taping. So I'm going to paint this wall, but I'm not going to paint this small little wall right next to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and line that and I'll show you what that looks like. So it's really simple. So you can see that we have this wall right here and then we have our main wall and there's just a piece of tape. We're going to do that all the way from the top to the bottom. So tape everything that you don't want paint on which is just the edges. And then once you've done that, we'll start painting. Okay, so this is the color I've chosen. It is the Pantone color of 2019. It's called Night Watch. It's by PPG Paints. So if you are interested in using this, this is the color. It's this beautiful green kind of blue color, which is a beautiful earth tone. And if you're into feng shui, I'm actually painting this in the center of my home, which when you're doing feng shui, no mouse no mouse. You want to go with earth tones, so this is perfect. It's like a greenish color, which is an earth tone. So when you open up your can, you're going to open it up with either a screwdriver or one of these little things that they give you. And it's really simple. Let me move this into the way so you can see it. So you're going to take this little thing and you're just going to lift it from the sides and it'll pop right up and you'll see the color. So as we're painting, I'm just going to keep the lid on just because I want to be careful. 
Um, wear clothes and keep animals away <laughs> from the paint because she's going to get a high um, while you're doing this. Okay, so what we're going to do is just get our rolling handle in there and then you're going to basically take your handle and really get it into the shallower part of your tin, of your pan, so that you can really get that color immersed in the sponge. And then what we're going to do, and you also don't want to deal with like drips, so just make sure you really get the color saturated in there. Then we're going to paint. So next, we're just going to paint it on the wall in big broad strokes, and it is gorgeous. This beautiful kind of emerald green color, I love it. It's going to be such a great contrast to everything in the house. It's so bright in here, it can really handle a heavy color. So let's paint a wall. <laughs> Make sure to take your tape off once the paint is dried. And your paint shouldn't take too long. As long as you have some air moving or fans on or doors open, it'll dry pretty quickly. So I'm gonna take the rest of the trim off and put everything back together. This is amazing. I'm digging this color. Okay, it's done. I have painted the entire two walls and I'm loving this color. This is so cool. Totally out of my comfort zone, but I really love it and it gives such an incredible dimension to the house. It's really a statement color and I feel like everything is just popping off the walls. I'm actually getting another cabinet that's coming in this week for that area so that I'll even be more tied together. But I just love that like you don't need much going on because it has so much to say this color. And it is the Pantone color of 2019. Nightwatch, I hope you learned something. Definitely don't be afraid to paint. It's cheaper than wallpaper because I thought about wallpapering. And then I was like, nope, gonna do the paint. Much cheaper. <laughs> Thanks for joining me guys, I'm Jackie, your reluctant housewife, empowering you to find your inner domestic goddess. You can catch me at yourreluctanthousewife.com on Instagram, Pinterest, uh, Facebook, all the things under Reluctant Housewife or Your Reluctant Housewife. Say hey, subscribe, leave a comment, that's it. <laughs> I'll see you next time guys.